So we're here at um, a place called Hillbilly Gardens, and um, it actually has like three names, Toyland, Apple Valley, and Hillbilly Gardens. And this place is run by Keith Holt, 52-year-old guy who grew up around here. We're 10 miles, we're on Route 68, 10 miles east of Paducah, Kentucky, a small town called Calvert City. And um, Keith has quite a remarkable place here. He grew up in this area. And then um, eventually, he said he grew up, a, he, um, he was, his parents were in a cult, and he left the cult uh, when he was about 21, ran away from home, went to Denver, wound up out in L.A., eventually became a union actor, was an actor following his dream out there for 20 years. Says that his um, career highlight was uh, one line that he had in General Hospital. He was a waiter, and um, he came in and said, hey, sir, here's your meal or here's your drink. And um, other than that, his mom died in about 2005 or 2006, and he inherited this property, which is like a 19, circa 1928. Um, at one point, his grandfather, who lived here, um, was selling cider and renting rooms. He was like a traveling musician. And um, he inherited this place. He came back here, and his dream was to demonstrate his toy museum, all these toys that he collected over a period of about 20 years. But um, his neighbors were initially very displeased by the fact that he had all kinds of junk, um, like a trailer and disused cars and stuff like that, parked um, you know, on his property. So they were very unhappy. Some of them were actually even sh taking shots at him, shooting him, trying to shoot him at least here, trying to chase him off of the property. And it sort of evolved into this folk art thing where he decided, okay, they're going to try to chase me out of here. They tried to get him out as a public nuisance and a variety of other different charges against him. Uh, they called child welfare on him. They, ch they called the USDA on him because he's got farm animals over here. And eventually he uh, sort of managed to convince them that this place was not just uh, toys but also folk art. And um, you can see he's got um, the hillbilly gardens aspect of this. Is He's got all kinds of things nailed to the trees here. He's got slogans along the highway. Um, which I'll show you, and all kinds of different hillbilly art. So I'm going to take you for a walk in, first of all, into the Toyland area. And here's some toys. This is a pretty awesome place. I'm making a little uh, video here. <clears throat> now, he's, Keith says that only 20% of his toys are actually on display, and the other 80% are in these trailers, which I'm going to show you in a minute, these tractor trailers. And um, he was telling us yesterday that he's got um, Frank Sinatra here next to the new kids on the block. And um, he's also got um, <clears throat> some artifacts and things like that from his days as an actor. Uh, including one thing that says, things that Angelina Jolie touched. And it has like a toothbrush and various things that he says that Angelina Jolie touched. I guess he was on a movie set with her at one point. This is one of the trailers that has the other 80% of all of his toys. And his dream is to expand this place so that um, he'll be able to demonstrate all of his, all the toys he has. But it's still a pretty impressive collection. But I have to love this folk art stuff too. He's pretty funny. I mean, when he was trying to, fighting this battle with his neighbors and... Um, Keith has long hair and um, kind of looks like a hippie. He said all of his neighbors thought that he was probably cooking meth or selling drugs or something like that. And they thought he was like sort of a big city guy who'd come from L.A. to make fun of hillbillies with this hillbilly garden. But he says, no, uh, he's a hillbilly too. Um, so he says he's making fun of himself here. And um, it's quite a place. Admission is free. It's just donations. He's got six kids. Four of them live here with him. Um, he says the neighbors called child welfare on him at one point and child welfare came out and saw his house and all the clutter he had and said well you kind of need to make it look a little bit more like a house you've got a little too much stuff in there he said he was happy to comply with that but uh, take you over here show you a little bit of this place this is the one this is the hillbilly garden one of the hillbilly gardens <laughs> There's just stuff everywhere. You have to love this place. God, Jesus, and then you see there's a, um, a wine bottle on top of the crucifix. And uh, I'll show you a couple of the slogans he has for people as they're driving by can see.
quite a place. A couple of them, one says, no thought, obey. Another one off in the distance there says, don't dream it, conform. Conform is spelled wrong, but that's okay. We're not going to give Keith a hard time on that one. So he's got toboggans, um, bicycles, chairs, a bed, a lawnmower nailed up to trees here. And there's toilets. There's all kinds of toilets around the place, too. I asked Keith, how many toilets have you got here? Oh, I lost count. He's got toilets spread all around the woods here. And um, he says he's just getting started. I mean, this place has all kinds of stuff. You see there's like a sofa and a recliner there nailed up to the uh, trees. He says that these things have withstood ice storms and all kinds of inclement weather, and he keeps thinking they're going to fall down, but they don't. Um, and as I said, he uh, claims he's kind of just getting started here. This is sort of just the tip of the iceberg, all this <laughs> um, hillbilly art, as he likes to call it. So, and these are kind of a play on the old, like, petting zoo kind of things, roadside zoos. He's got a bloodhound here in his petting zoo. There are no real rattlesnakes, but there are signs warning about them. There's Keith over there, he's leading a tour. There's the bloodhound. Gator pit. This is, I think, what he calls like a hillbilly retirement community over here. Dentist chair. <laughs> and here's Keith. I'm going to end the video by giving you a little look at Keith as he leads this tour. Hi Keith. Hi. Couldn't get enough. I had to come back for one more little look. <laughs> Hope you don't mind. I'm sorry reading the articles, dude. Thanks, man. <laughs> you, you, you talk to me if it's 